What's up guys, just wanted to let you know today's video is sponsored by Bespoke, so shout out to those guys. We're gonna have more on them later. Let's get into it. <laughs> The brakes need to be bled on this, but this might be like our nicest car. These CR80s have six gears. I'm like oh. not used to it. So by the time I'm shifting into six, I'm like, what gear is this? Seven, eight? Oh! But once you're making these seats bigger. Once you're... Proper cart? Yeah, proper cart. This thing feels uh, like actually like, good. As you guys see, we got this cart. This is a CR80. We just picked that cart up because we got this one, which is also a CR80. Ryan poured oil into the fuel tank, which not his fault, but pretty dumb his own move. It was just like straight oil into it. He thought it was mixed, wasn't. This thing was so oil logged, it was basically just spitting oil out. I don't know if it's fixed, but it's I, better. I think it's better. Does this one work? Yeah. So this one's good to go. This one, the very first yep. cart that we ever got, runs, but doesn't have brakes. Because we're idiots and we brought it to the salt flats, left the salt on. Apparently if you let the salt sit on brakes for six months, bad things rusty, happen. Rusty, rusty, yeah. rusty, rusty. We've been trying to get brakes for it, but they're super hard to get. So that's where we stand on carts right now. We have four of them. Four, I know, yeah. it's crazy, dude. All right, so you guys remember how we mentioned that we needed to bleed the brakes on the new cart? I did and the seals are bad. So presumably the sucker that sold it to us was like, my brakes don't work, I'm just gonna sell it to someone. We've got a little bit of brake. When you squeeze really hard, you can't spin the wheel. Well, you can't, oh, yeah. you can't. Dude, that ain't stopping nobody. Man. So that isn't doing much. So basically, if you see a red shifter cart, they don't have brakes. Yeah, because now ones, we have two. What the f we got two red shifter carts, neither of them have brakes, so I'm gonna pick a black one, I think. Hold up, hold up. Is that how we're doing this? Do you just get to pick? These are like safety hazards. I don't think the other one should be out at all. That's just me, I'm not driving it. I don't give a If you wanna drive it, go for it. I don't really wanna drive it. You, what, you need to stop, what are you gonna do? That's a valid, valid point. I think that black one's still having problems. Here comes old Smokey! I can't believe that putting oil in an engine like fucks up this bad. Like it ran perfect before we did it, and now it's just a, just a mess of problems. You think we could just get it out and then fucking drive it? Besides for the no brakes part, this thing is so good. And honestly, maybe knock on wood, but you don't really need brakes. Just pin it right now, see what happens. Yeah, it's still super messed up. The fact that you drive it for like two minutes and then it sits there and just dumps oil out, it's probably not good. I mean, it was a good idea to go mop four carts. Next year, we should honestly just buy at least two new carts. We'd still run into issues, but at least they'd be a little bit easier to fix because these old carts, you can't, can't get parts for. 
shit. Looks like we might have to mob the two that don't have brakes. I popped my tire. Hey, can we get a lift? I wonder if he'll let us just throw it in the ridge line. Who is it? I don't know. <laughs> How's it going? Just, let's just go get the truck. Are you guys racing or we're just having fun? No, we're just having we're fun. Having fun. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I gotta, I'm gonna take your picture. He's not gonna believe that what I saw. Oh, are you the C boys? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That explains it, okay. <laughs> well, let's, uh, Slide her down in the ditch. Imagine somebody steals this, how upset that we would be. One time we did this with Cody Sherbrooke's dirt bike and came back a couple days later and somebody did actually take <laughs> Whoa, it. Whoa, and you wait yeah, two days. Keep in mind, yeah, it was like a couple days later. And now a word from our sponsor. Bespoke is a monthly membership club that delivers top shelf goods straight to your door from under the radar brand. Every month, they introduce their members to cool new products, outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing, and more. All based on preference quiz that members fill out when signing up. So the boxes change every month and each box has at least $70 in value inside at the price of only 45. So they sent me these three boxes. I'm gonna run you guys through what's all inside. This first one, we got the aged box, which includes these nice whiskey glasses and an aging kit. So Ken, he's super into aging whiskey. Obviously, he's into the finer things in life. I have a feeling he's gonna be using this quite a bit. Check out these glasses. That's fancy. How do you set it down? Yeah. Like that. That's high class. In the next box, though, they sent me a machete. <laughs> This thing's pretty sick, dude, and it's nice. So, I mean, obviously, we're going to Florida next month. If we go into the bayou, I'll probably have this with. Chop down some trees or bushes or whatever else you would chop down with a machete. Our last box was the hot sauce pecho bundle. They sent you these, like, spices that you mix with, like, a vinaigrette, and basically you make your own hot sauce. We're gonna have to try it. We love hot sauce over here. And then on top of that, a little guacamole maker. What? Oh, yeah. And then taco holder. Taco night, man. Taco Tuesday. That's tomorrow. So one of my favorite parts about Bespoke is that 90% of their products all come from small businesses. You only pay for what you want. You get to preview your box before it gets sent to you. So if you don't like it, you can swap it out for something new. And if you don't have anything that month that you want, you can just not be charged that month for your bundle and not receive a package and then just look forward to the next month after that. So when you guys click the link down below in our description, it's going to take you to Bespoke site. Scroll all the way to the bottom of that page. You'll be prompted to a short quiz, which will allow Bespoke to tailor boxes of your interest to you. To get 20% off your first box, click the link in our description and enter Seaboys TV 20 at checkout or just go to bspk.me forward slash Seaboys TV 20 and you guys can get set up for your Bespoke membership. Thank you again to Bespoke for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into it.
The guy messed up the swing set. Now he's yeah, messed up the yard. Said. You guys just show up and f my yard up and then you know dip out. We've never driven these in the grass ever, and then we're like, well, we're at Mark's. Yeah. Imagine well. <laughs> I like, close this out. This is like be your new house, Mike. <laughs> Sad because this is bigger than Mike's no, bedroom. Not. This is definitely bigger than your room. This is bigger than our whole house. It's definitely bigger than your room. Kevin's kind Jesus of an man. asshole. Yeah, it is. It's especially like when you took the one. nice room and then you go, this <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I agree. Whoa. CJ took the nicest room. All I was so saying you... is this would be a nice room for Mike. So you saying that is a dick move and Ken's. Yeah, but I feel like you would probably like. You guys are both assholes. You're both assholes. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Hundred percent sure. So don't hold me to this statement. But I think I blew up the cart. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I think so. How? Well, remember when I was like in the grass, like redlining it for a really long time. <laughs> yeah, that's how I think. Wow, this is depressing. And just like that, it's winter. Also, just like that, it'll be gone and back gone and back. I hope it does melt and then gets really cold so the ice is perfect. Right. Because if it snows when the ice freezes, then it's slushy mess. What are you guys going to do without your thin ice? Yeah, that's, oh, and that. <laughs> and that. Jeez. All right, I think the plan is to go and take advantage of the first snowfall and go spin some donies. I don't want to do a couple little slides. I don't know if it'll be cool. The good news sure. is, even if you're going like two miles an hour, it sounds amazing. <laughs> My tune, it's got like an auto ship. That was fourth gear? Yeah. yeah. I noticed that you just shift it up and then up no, and then up. It keeps doing it for me. It's kind of pissing me off. I want to just bounce it. Front wheel drive, four wheel drive. Yeah! You know what would be an interesting stat? Is to see how many donuts have been spun in Seaboy's history. Or just even this parking lot, dude. The dude, limo? We might need a bigger parking lot if we're gonna try to slide the limo. Let's just say not me.
totally got it in, bro. How many times have you ridden this since it got fixed? Twice. Well, if this broke or blew up my motor, it's going to be my second blown motor in one video. Wow, man, man. You that either. man you've been on, <laughs> you were on such a, a streak of not breaking things. One video. Yeah, I was like, I don't know if you ever really was. Well, you look good before it broke. Yeah, you look really good. The old trusty Raptor. The Raptor never breaks. <sighs> This is uh, how they do it with the three wheelers? I don't know. I feel like you got an idea until it falls, I guess. Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a little water in the throttle bike. 